It's full time here at Kings Park where the Sharks have wrapped up a 24-14 win over the Stormers, notching up their sixth win out of seven games in the competition. It's left them top of the Super Rugby log, but overshadowing the result is the news that Super Rugby has been postponed indefinitely. It's the latest sporting event to be affected by the global coronavirus pandemic, which has led to events such as the Premier League even being postponed indefinitely. Uh, speaking to that point, Salsi Sharks coach Sean Everett believes that the break is actually coming at a welcome stage for his side that are pretty tired after seven rounds of Super Rugby action. Uh, to be honest, I think it's a welcome break for us. Our guys are knackered. Um, you know, as you saw today, they gave everything they've been doing that every week. Um, but we haven't played a complete game. Um, you know, we've been good in some areas, weak in others, but where we've been good, that's bailed us out. And that's what that was today, the scrum. So our guys need the break. Um, unfortunately, you know, we can't host the Chiefs next week. And I, I'm talking about the spectators would love to have come and watch that, I'm sure. But that's just the way it is. We can't control that. So we'll welcome the break. Stormers coach John Dobson offered a more pensive take uh, over the situation, suggesting that while teams might want to keep playing in the competition, the overall situation could be a lot more dire than people might think. Yeah, I think that's what I try to say. I mean, I'm not the World Health Organization. I know nothing about it, but just think the reaction to it, I hope it's properly thought through because it's going to have cataclysmic effect on some people's lives. You know, I think we all, uh, all of us, are, I think we're in for a harder time than we think as a consequence of this, I'm afraid. That's the truth there. Feel sorry for, feel sorry, sorry for Liverpool Football Club. Feel sorry for the Sharks. Feel sorry for this tournament. It's, it's. Uh, feel sorry for the for everybody. You know, the guys whose part-time work is on the Cape Epic. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a disaster. Returning back to the game itself, the start of the match couldn't have been more controversial with uh, Stormers flank Johan de Toy being shown a yellow card for a tackle in the air on Sharks scrum off Louis Schroeder that could have been easily adjudged as a red card. Dobson says that when he first saw the tackle, he thought things were going to be pretty bad. I heard the TMO trying to call it a red, so I think the referee did well to get it down to yellow because it landed on his back, but you know, if it had been a red card, I'd have no complaints. It was a... Uh... You know, you sit there in the coach's box and just think, what the hell just happened? Uh, it's never part of any plan whatsoever to do anything like that. He's been to go there and contest for the ball because he's so fast, you know. So, you know, if it got in red, I wouldn't have been a complaint. I thought, just thought once that that's, you could see his on the back. I thought the referee showed a bit of courage. But I can understand if people are disgruntled because it's not nice a guy comes off in a golf cart. It's not nice. Sharks coach Sean Everett offered a similar take on the situation. My whole philosophy about rugby is to keep the game safe and maybe that comes from me being a teacher and, and coaching younger boys at school. Um, I think we can all do better in, in trying to, to make the game a bit safer. Whether it's a yellow or red, I think that's debatable. We'll have a look at it later and, we'll, and, and hopefully the officials will come up with the right um, solution. Um, in saying that, you know, it, you know, we, we lost a player and, 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 and it was dangerous, otherwise he wouldn't have got off, <laughs> you know, so. The Sharks at top of the Super Rugby log going into this indefinite break of Super Rugby. It's a situation that Sean Everett might not have envisaged at the beginning of the season, but he's given credit to his team for the way that they've taken to new ideas and game plans introduced by Everett and his coaching staff. We had a workshop before the season started, just before the Bulls game. And, you know, we asked the guys to set down their goals, but we didn't want to talk about where we wanted to be. And we didn't want to talk about results. We wanted to see what else the players wanted to get out of, out of the season. And sometimes you forget that you might lose a final, then it becomes an unsuccessful year, but you've achieved so much. And we want to remember every week for what it was. When you when you get results and when you perform the way we do and, and, and when we review games, it's about getting better. But at the same time, it builds belief that we're on the right track. Um, there was a certain amount of risk coming into the season with the things that we changed. Um, I've said it before, I didn't realise that the team would get it right as quickly as they have. Um, and they surprised me in that department. But in saying that, you know, we had a chat to the team during the week and, and one of the things that Ox came up with is that this team's been amazing because the coaches only have to talk to us once and we get on with it and improve and they don't have to keep on saying the same thing over and over again. And I think that sums it up what we have in front of us. And what you guys watched this afternoon, it's just a team that love playing and they prepare really, really well and that was our theme for the week.